Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be talking about how your family can affect your goals. All right, so let's get started. Okay guys, it's very simple. I was watching this on my ASAP developers group. If you guys are not a member of Coding Phase ASAP developers group, definitely go join. It's an exclusive membership for everybody who's a member of codingphase.com. So if you're already a member or have ever bought any of the courses, uh, definitely go join guys. It's a great community. A lot of people are there to help you out. But yeah, man, I saw this from a girl there, man, and she was talking about like, hey, you know, it really sucks that my family doesn't believe in what I'm doing. Everybody keeps on telling me, hey man, when you going to college? When do you start school? What school are you going to? And then you're trying to break it down for them that I'm learning at home, okay? Now, this is a brand new concept for a lot of people, especially older folks, right? It could be your mom, it could be your dad, it could be your uncle, your grandparents. They're like, hey, sweetie, when are you going back to school? It's like, Listen, my, I'm already in school. It just happens that I'm learning at home. And it's very hard for people to understand that. It's hard for them to understand that you can get into a career or you can have a career by learning certain skills and learning them at home on your own pace, all right? Now, what I wanna tell you guys is when you are in situations like this, always understand this, that they're coming from a different world, right? You know, the average person you tell them, hey man, I work from home, I'm on my computer and pretty much I earn this, this, this amount, right? People are not gonna believe you. They're so used to going in on the nine to five, you know, going in some place, some factory, some office, some work, clocking in, right? Clock out, five o'clock, et cetera, right? 25 minutes of lunch break, 35 minutes of lunch break, that's it, that's all you get. This whole concept of being able to become a developer and be able to code from home is something new. Like, they're not used to that. You know what I'm saying? So you have to understand them. So when you tell them, hey, I'm learning at home, I'm going to a website like codingface.com or Udemy or uh, another platform that's out there, I don't know, whatever is out there, and you're telling people, hey, I'm learning online, and they're looking at you like you're crazy, like, Phew. Well, you're just watching YouTube videos and that's it. And you think you're gonna become this successful developer. Like there's guys that have computer science degrees. It's like, you should have a computer science degree. How about you go to college for the next four years? And in reality, like you don't need to do that. It don't make no sense. Especially now, like what are you gonna do? You're gonna pay for college, online college. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, people used to make fun of, uh, what is it, uh, Phoenix, what's the name of that that, that school, what is it, uh, Phoenix Online, whatever it was, right? People used to make fun of that, or even uh, ITT Tech, people would be like, oh, they have an ITT Tech degree, and it's an online, everything is online now, right? Like, COVID is here, right? And we don't even know how long this thing is going to last, so it doesn't even make sense for you to be like, I'm gonna go back to school or I'm gonna go to college for the next four years, pay a premium for a piece of paper that in reality you can get the job without that piece of paper. So now you're paying a premium just to go online. Like you go online, you go to codingphase.com, 20 bucks, over 50 courses. You have enough stuff there to last you two years, enough courses to last you two years if you really wanted to and prepare yourself like a, like an expert, right? So again, and, and there's a lot of different places where you can learn online. Even, you know, you got with ed, EduX, you know, you got those Coursera courses where they teach you computer science and, you know, you might even get a course from a MIT professor or a Harvard professor. You get what I'm saying? Like, why would you go to college right now? It doesn't make sense. So when people come in and, and tell you all of these things, you know, don't feel down, don't feel like, damn man, this sucks, you know? I'm always trying to convince people, or I'm always trying to tell people what I'm trying to do and the goals that I'm trying to achieve and how I'm doing it and I'm learning online. Guys, there's people that's gonna be ignorant and, and it's fine, right? Not everybody needs to know what you know, right? And, and, and that's just how it is. If you're trying to get to a goal, get to that goal. You're not, you're not doing it for anybody else. You're not doing it for your mom. You're not doing it for your dad. You're not doing it for your grandparents. You're doing it for you, right? 
That's just how it is, right? Imagine this. Imagine if you go back in time, right? And you go in, I don't know, in, I don't know, 1800s, 1700s, right? And you tell somebody, hey man, I'm gonna go from New York City to Paris, right? In six hours. And I'll, I'll meet you there. You tell that to somebody and they're gonna look at you like you're crazy. Because all they know is traveling through ships. And they know that for you to go from New York all the way to Paris, that could be a week or even more, right? You're traveling through the ocean. You're going through, you know, waves and freaking all type of uh, different weathers and this, this, and that. That's all they know. So it's the same thing for you. You're trying to learn online and you're trying to convince somebody that all they know is the nine to five. That's all they know. <laughs> they don't know nothing else. They don't know there's another way to get a job. There's no, they don't know that there's other ways of training yourself, right? They, they just don't know, you know what I mean? Like I remember, you know, years ago, back in the days, you know, even like as, back as like, I don't know, maybe like 2007, around there. And I remember like my mom would tell me, hey Joe, you, you gotta start doing something with your life, this, this and that, start doing something with your life. And she's like, you should go apply to this, a uh, company and go in there and ask them for uh, a freaking application. And I'm like, ma, I don't need to go in there. If I want to go apply there, I go online and send them an email with my resume. That blew my mom's mind. <laughs> she was like, what? Now that was like, <laughs> that was like 08, 07. She, she thought I was being lazy. She thought I was like, yo, you just being lazy to not go apply for the job, right? That's just how it is. It's people that's ignorant, right? And ignorant of something, right? It's not they're, that they're dumb or that they're giving you bad advice. It's that that's what they know, right? So if you know something that they don't know, you can't get upset about trying to convince them or trying to explain to them how this thing works, right? That's just how it is. Always keep your mind focused on your goal. What is your goal? You want to become a developer, right? Now, this is the funny ass story, right? I'm going to tell you the truth. You know me. I'm real with it, right? So I had a cousin that came from Dominican Republic around like in 2011, right? At that time, that's when I started learning how to code, like for real. Like I built websites before, but I never sat down to really like, hey, I'm gonna learn all this stuff, right? I was going to websites like Code School. I went to uh, Team Treehouse. I even tried uh, Pluralsight, Lynda.com. I tried a whole bunch of websites, right? And just trying everything out and see how which one stuck together and which one made more sense to me, right? Now, while I was in my house, right? At that time, I was straight up on the computer all day, every day, every single day on the computer, bro. Like, like bad. Like people would come in and knock on my door and be like, yo, you want to go to the beach? I'm like, nope, I'm good. And you know what's funny, man? So when <laughs> years later passed by, right? We're talking about maybe, I don't know, eight years later, right? It was like last year, right? And my cousin who lived with us at that time, that she saw me, she was a little bit older, she was like three years older than me. She saw how I was just locked in into the computer and just learning and just being on the computer all day. Now mind you, I had my door closed. So, <laughs> this is hilarious, right? So I go in and I invite my, my cousin to come to my new house and she's like, oh my God, Joe, I'm so proud of you, right? Mind you, this is people that were like, oh, wow. This guy, he's so lazy, he's not doing nothing, right? Mind you. So, but now she comes through my house, she's like, wow, Joe, like I'm so proud of you. You've done so good. You know, I really thought that you was just playing games and jerking off in that room. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, that's what you probably thought, because you're ignorant, right? You're ignorant of the fact that you're trying to learn something. And like this is the mentality, right? This is a funny ass story because this is what regular people would think. Right? If you sit down all summer long, right? While everybody's talking about they're going to the beach, they're going out, and you're at home training, right? And just, you know, learning through courses, doing all the stuff. To the average person, this is not a normal thing, right? They'll come up with anything. They'll be like, oh, she got a lover online, she's Twittering, she's uh, dating somebody online, she's sexting, she's freaking watching porn, she's doing something, right? Like they're trying to comprehend what is it that you're doing 
in, in front of your computer for so long. Like, that was like my cousin. Like, that was a joke. Like, she threw it at me like a joke. Like, damn, I thought you was in there playing video games and jerking off. I'm like, nah, ma. I was in there, like, working. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing as my mom. Like, when I was learning how to code, it was so hard for them to understand. I'm at home, but I'm learning. I'm working right now. Right? It's even even when I even moved into uh, you know with my wife and everything, it was a new concept, right, for them to see me all the time inside of my office working. Right? It's not the same thing as somebody going into a job nine to five, right? Clock in, clock out, and when they clock out, they leave. They never do anything else. As a developer, it's a different environment. It's a different lifestyle. Like even after you are working at home, you might go on your computer again while you're watching Netflix and you're like doing research or you're learning a tutorial or you're doing something else. For the average person, they don't understand that. You get what I'm saying? So in reality, it's like, don't get upset about people telling you, man, uh, you should go to college, you should do this and that, or you should be doing something else. They're ignorant, they, they just don't know, right? And and it's fine, like we're not gonna look down on them for being ignorant. This is why you gotta do what you gotta do, right? When I bowl out, when I go in and, and my family come down, but like it's like right now, I told my family come down from like, you know, New York, I was, they're like, man, this, this and that, I'm like, listen, I'm gonna pay for your whole shit, come down, right? Now it's big boss status, you get what I'm saying? It's not little Joe on the computer. Now they understand, they see the process. Same thing for you, ma. If you're working, you're doing your thing, don't let nobody stop you. Don't let people's negativity or, or, or what they might think of you or or the try uh, the, the way how they're trying to give you advice, it's not gonna work for you. You're working something else that they, don't, they have no idea how this shit works. You know what I'm saying? So all I have to say for any one of you guys is if you see that people are throwing you shade or people are throwing you you know negativity because you're on your computer or they don't understand that uh, hey you don't have to go to college for this right or that hey man uh, you, you found some guy on the internet called joe and you're watching him for 20 bucks and he's gonna get you to get into a job as a developer that's bullshit, man they're selling you a dream bro they don't know about this you know what i'm saying it's like you're listening to somebody some random person giving you advice about something that they have no idea what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. So it's like, have your goal, right? What is it that you want out of this? You wanna become a developer? You wanna get hired? You wanna have a good career? You wanna have fun? You wanna do something that's creative, right? Then you're in the right place, okay? Continue doing what you have to do. Stop listening to whatever, you know, family members and other people's gonna say about you. Cause trust me, look, Look where I'm at, I'm chilling, I work from home, I got multiple companies, I teach you guys, I've gotten to a point where I'm comfortable enough where you know I'm able to train you guys and get you guys into jobs and do everything that I have to do, right? But I started somewhere, in the same way how I was there, the same way where you at right now, I was there too. Uh, like right now, I just told you, I got my cousin thinking I'm in there, you know, just playing video games and doing, you know, Palmula, and me and Palmula having fun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like this is the, the, the type of mentality that's out there. So if you were thinking in your head like, man, I'm gonna listen to what other people are saying, bro, I have a goal. My goal is make my bread, become successful, and get to where I need to get to. It's in front of a computer, so what? You don't understand that this is where the world is at? That's on you. Your negativity, you keep that to yourself. You know what I'm saying? I can't listen to it. So that's how you gotta be out here. Tunnel vision, all right? So anyways, man, keep your head up, man. Stop worrying about what other people are saying. Who cares, man? They don't understand what you're doing and the type of goals that you have, all right? So anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Listen, guys, if you wanna learn how to code, go to my website, try it out. It's like 20 bucks. Right now, even in the description, you might even get, for $1, you got a three-day trial. Try it out, trust me. There's a lot of people that are enjoying what we do at CodingPhase.com, and you will too, all right? So I'm going to see you guys later. Make sure you check out the other videos that are here somewhere 
and make sure you subscribe please leave a comment let me know what you think even if it's just to say guys i survived to the end all right just to do that because when you leave a comment this engagement on the video it helps us grow so thank you for watching all right see you guys later peace